Welcome back to another episode of Is It Just Me podcast with Cecil Carson, where you laugh and learn. Um, from work, I'm a bit tired, but I just thought of this being a therapeutic thing. Like nowadays, I just feel it. Like I have to. And without forgetting, thank you so much for all those who have subscribed, newly subscribed, and also liking to my videos, like and audio. I'm so excited and thank you so much. Today, when I was walking by, uh, because I'm a pedestrian, I just heard some men talking and I was not like keenly uh, into listening to what they were saying. But I heard one man saying, you know, if the father died legally and then like I passed so when I was just working, I was like, if the father died legally, when in our days there is a de- illegal death, or oh, there is a legal death, I think death was just a death. And again, my mind was like, if there is an illegal death, that means those people should be arrested because that is a legal thing. Like it's not allowed. You know, I was, uh, please just someone comment and try to explain that statement that I just overheard from someone's conversation. Like, if the father died legally. So my question is, is there death which is legal and the other one which is illegal? Like, I didn't get it. I wish I had that guts to just stop them and ask, please explain or expound. Just enlighten me. How is that death legal or illegal? Anyway, today we are going to talk about this crazy species called men. I've been trying to understand them, but I'm not able. So if you are there as a man and listening to this podcast, please listen to it and then you'll comment later and tell us more about what I will be talking about. You know, For the ladies, I think you'll be riding the same boat with me. And tell me more of how you think these men are a crazy species. So, talking about this crazy species called men, you know, the reason actually I'm calling them crazy, do you know those people don't even have that second thought of doing some things? How can you just urinate on an open space? The other day I was just driving, which I, Wayakiwe, and then I was like seeing just someone standing there on, there's this new wall which is there, and to be honest, Actually, at akwenda kwa wall. Alinda tu apu kwa space tu. Apu tu. Like, man, surely. Surely, surely. Okay, we understand. God blessed you with some easy ways to do some things. But the audacity of this man, of nowadays. I thought this generation and technology will uplift some, some cultures. But as Kenyans, especially Kenyans. I wish us ladies we could really do that so that you men see how disgusting that thing is. And I know this is a bit like a PG-18 thing, but do you know I saw that man's the D thing? I saw it. Not that I was that keen, but I was like, I was looking at him. I wish he was able to see my eyes. It was like speaking, bro. Really? Please, Please, Rudisha, your stuff, Dania, true, Zabana. And it's not only that. Like, I don't know the audacity of this man. And then the one to look when I'm sick, or Gary, I can yambia. By the way, to be honest, Ata thanks God, the wall of China, I Kuja Kenya, because wall of China could be another latrine. Because men, I want to maintain. Ni koshu, I want to maintain. Kama hapa hivi street hizi za, za Nairobi tu kipita kwa chuo moja hivi arufu venye hivyo inakugonga tu. This crazy species of, of men, uh, I will never understand them. Again, have you ever like met this crazy, crazy man who like the masculinity of this man, even hard situation, they won't cry. Actually, they won't express their emotions because it will show them they are weak. 
man, do you know what? Akimi, I know I'm this girl who just love men who like express their emotion. As much as me, the others who will express their emotion by talking and trying to hold their tears. But you know what will win me in is you, the man crying, like just trying to be vulnerable at that time. And I'm not talking about men who watches like easy movies and then start crying. No, like these people who they feel like I'm overwhelmed. And like I'm in this situation and I don't know how to get myself out of it. And when they're speaking to you, you just see them like shedding tears. That is the best thing. Ladies, is it just me who feels like when a man cries with that reason? Is it like so romantic? Another thing, talking about this crazy species called men, you know, I know this is now the LGBTQ thing, but have you seen these men when they turn to be like us ladies? Have you ever seen these men who whine? Like if you see some if you see a man or if you find a man who knows to whine, they really do it a hundred percent. These men, I'm telling you that actually the crazy species the name is suit them. Have you ever even seen these men who turns to be like lady lady or let me just call them the way they are. They're gay. The way they wear, the way they talk, the way they whine, the way they just like do their facial expression. Boom. They are always extra. I don't know. Tell me, do you find these people crazy or am I the only one? Another reason why I'm really, really calling this uh, species crazy is that have you ever caught a man lying or cheating? They always have these lame excuses that they just create and carry us like babies. And they expect us to accept or to agree with what they're telling us and just to be like, okay, you're telling the truth. Like, how? But I'm really happy on how us ladies, we are really progressing on the matter of uh, not being uh, faithful. On that sector, we have really pulled up our socks. And if you cheat, we cheat. And the statistic says that nowadays ladies are cheating more than men. Kudos to that. Kudos, let them learn. See, they cannot even understand us how we feel or how we just get irritable when they are just urinating everywhere, wherever they think of. So if we do that, at least we are helping them to understand us. At least. Okay. You know, I know, I know you are like, hey, Connie, this guy, I'm a heartbroken. I'm a nini. What really happened? Indeed, I was heartbroken, not because of a broken relationship, but something that I had not even thought I would ever do. And I had I not sweared, but I just said to myself, I will never do. But that day I did. So when is this day? It's flashback moment. <laughs> This flashback of today, my friends, I really don't know if I'm gonna, uh, I'm not excited to share this because it's a bit embarrassing to me. So to lead to a job, KCC, there was a medical camp there and there were a lot of uh, companies also selling out their services. So kama kawaida, si tukienda job, we do our thing and then after apu tunatoka. So this thing, this day was a little bit a special in a way because uh, if you didn't know me, I like men who, like I sometimes I check on their appearance, especially the skin. So if a guy is, if you know you are a white person or you are, uh, you know, uh, to brown, like brown, brown, that is something that I like to look up to. But uh, it's not that I'm, uh, I'm racist, no. But that is my preference and uh, please don't judge me. Uh, you know, everyone has their taste and preferences. So that's mine. So back to the day, there were a lot of those white and uh, wazungu, wahindi, wachinku. Like there were a lot of 
them and uh, you know if if you have that thing about them and uh, you have this time like you are serving them it's get you get so uh, emotionally uh, excited and you know sometimes as girls especially if you're single when you such an opportunity upon opportunity rises you just think of like this is the day that i'm gonna find my soulmate or this is the day i'm going to find my boyfriend you know the funniest thing is that even my colleagues knows what i love I'll when it comes to me so they were also like when they see me become zungu coming to our tent to our camp they were like cause the one who's going to attend so it was like an obvious thing to moita kikuja it was me who was going to serve them so i was like okay i was so excited anyway to fast forward the story a uh, day kaisha and you know uh, during the day sometimes because it's it's an explo so if you are there to give out the services you don't have that much time to go and also explore and uh, see what they are selling and even buy what you think it's uh, you know you need you know so the day kaisha ivo and we were packing me i was really tired and uh, I, i think i was also disappointed because no one like uh came no man came to approach me with the angle that i really needed and uh, mark you you are at work you cannot even now go to you know and talk to them in so you have to be like fully professional all the day long so me i was really tired i went to the van and uh you know just waiting for the rest of my colleagues to go and uh, just buy whatever they wanted and know exactly what uh the companies were there you know just you know it's 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 not your free time so when i was just up on imekatu kwa kiti my friend came in she was running and i was like oh yeah what's what's up uh what's missing because sometimes maybe you've forgotten something kwa 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 tent and you know that is really risky and uh she was like no 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 you have to come and see this guy and uh please please i i know you will really like him so i was like who guy guy mgani you and, and she was like you watch out man no mingi we kuja anyway i had nothing to lose me ndo huyo take take nika nika toka nika and then nika mfuata so kufika the stop imagine where we stopped <laughs> kwa alcohol drinks attend uh, nilikuwa hapo if i was like unanileta tukunywa pombe and definitely hata tujapeleka vitu job tutaenda tukiwa drunk like aje and uh, she was like no sija kuleta hapo kunywe just check that guy them wacha tu ni turn even niangalie huyo chali the chali was so cute mse ameunga ako na muscles ni mrefu ni white ako na nywele ndefu like oh my god everything that i've been <laughs> wishing to have it was with that man and i was like ule jwaje ule jwaje who you and your soulmate like who told you who really told you about this like i got did you go i got tensed and uh, at the same time i was so excited i was like i was so nostalgic to be honest so mindo huyo ah to kind up kwa counter and we were like inquiring like hey guys wh- what are you selling or do you have and apparently the one who was at the front desk alikuwa mblaki but the one i want to talk to him alikuwa uko nyuma and uh, he was having a conversation with some other guys so you know we were just like trying to get his attention and uh, we, if this guy was going to continue talking to us there is no any opportunities for us so uyo best yangu my colleague akasema you know what tunataka kuona ule chali tunataka kuziona ule chali ule mzungu and the guy was like okay sawa so acha nimuite he to come to akakuja and you are like hey yeah you're from this company and i think this is our time now to explore and we just want to know bra 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 chali are you ko ida chali ako zile tu ako street forward tu tu apa hivi tunauza ma mix tu a cocktail kuna ma shots kuna nini i was like bro we are not even here to drink but again because i tutaki kuji kujibisha tuko zile za how much is this shot how much is this one how much is what <laughs> God chali see you what happened you know akora nyele ndefu alafu akwa maitai so akazi aka brush the hair back with his hand i'm like why did you fucking do that like it was really hot no na kina alihandro that is the same same thing that oh jesus 
anyway so the guy was like straight forward and kind of like ni kama a vibe na mimi and uh, my, my my friend was not even helping me and I was tensing I didn't want to like say something that will push him push him away you know something i will i have never thought of like at any age and they actually like aj how desperate am i anyway that day i had to shoot my shot i'm telling you so at nikona to like let me just buy nika buy shot moja nika kunywa and and then the girl was like that's it hata jaitisha namba umjashia namba like what what is the answer that i will kunywa hii shot ask for the number chali ule mwingine akarudi the front desk person akarudi tena dem akasema you know what huyo dem amekrashia huyo mzungu so make sure wameongea sasa ndio mzungu huyo chali akaniambia au unataka kuongea na huyo unataka ku get number yake fanya aje uliza more of akina cocktail because yeye yeah, ako so well na hizo cocktail mimi ni nani kambe saa mwite wacha jeito so to call zile za oh and uh, you didn't tell us more about this cocktail so i can't the cuz explain i can't explain i can't i'm like bro just just read my lips uh, read my body language read my face expression man i'm not here for the cocktail i'm here for you i'm here to take you home <laughs> so oh god i uh, let me just say he talked but i can't even tell you what he really talked about what he explained but uh, just to make him not like the conversation to be worth nilikunywa another shot and uh, this this is it's, this is not a good story because i just felt so bad because to litoka hapo he didn't ask for my number he didn't even uh, try to show that he was a, a bit like you know excited to talk to me you know that that vibe like i, I don't know I, i was just expecting something more from him but uh oof, i'm still single i'm telling you i i went there so when i was so disappointed like i was really disappointed <laughs> and my friend was like akioni sim tu uyoni sim tu hakuna veni unaweza kuwa umemwongelesha hivyo vyote alafu akaweza kukitisha namba i was like definitely akichali ungeitisha tu namba nitoke tu hapo kwa hiyo tent when i'm so happy the happiest lady in this world at that moment and yeah that is ukisikia kunipigia ukisikia utanipigia showroom yako but having your, having my number it was just like you no know, please bro but anyway that's it that's the reason why i'm like asking you crazy species called me what exactly do you really want Dima mejipa hapo hivyo like you are not there for her like mnataka nini mnataka nini please don't forget to comment down there kwa comment section na mtueleze exactly what do you like so on our that section is did you know section <laughs> So on our did you know section we're going to talk about PSA test that is our prostate specific antigen we have really talked about uh, this crazy man and uh, let's see what exactly we can do to help them you know knowledge is power as we always say so this article i'm reading it from Medline Plus uh and uh, let's begin so what is this prostate specific antigen is a blood test that measures the level of PSA in a sample of your blood PSA is a protein made by your prostate so the prostate is a gland in the male reproductive system it lies just below the bladder and it makes the fluid part of a semen it's normal to have a low level of PSA in your blood a high PSA level may be caused by a prostate cancer an enlarged a prostate that is a commonly known as benign prostatic hyperplasia other common prostate problems and taking certain medication may cause your PSA to be high so a PSA test can't show what is causing abnormal PSA level so if you have levels which are high you may need other tests to be sure if it is cancer or not so the PSA test is used to screen for prostate cancer the cancer screening means looking for signs of cancer before it causes symptoms but screening test can't diagnose a uh, cancer so if a screening test finds signs of cancer you will need other tests to find out if you have cancer and how serious it may be so 
most types of prostate cancer grow very slow. They don't spread beyond the prostate and may never cause health problem. In fact, you can live a long life with prostate cancer and never know you have it. The goal of prostate cancer screening is to help find cancers that may be more likely to spread so they can be treated early. As you always know, cancer has stages like stage 1 and 2 can be treated and can be cured like you can be fully be free from cancer if you have uh, detected it earlier. But when it comes to uh, maybe you have found you have cancer on your third or fourth stage, that is only can be treated okay it's so hard for cancer type 3 and 4 to be fully cured but when it's detected early you have a better chance of being a cancer free okay so uh, but there are challenges and possible harms from using a PSA test to screening for prostate cancer. So what are these uh, challenges? A PSA test can't tell the difference between abnormal PSA levels from prostate cancer and non-cancerous condition. So if you if your PSA level is high, a prostate biopsy is the only way to find out if the cause is cancer. A and prostate biopsy have possible harms. So what is this biopsy? So this biopsy in short is the taking a prostate tissue as a specimen and uh, taking it to be treated. Okay, so a PSA test may lead to finding and treating prostate cancer that could never have affected your health. If prostate cancer is found, it can be difficult to tell the difference between slow growing cancers and those that are likely to grow faster and spread in your body. So you can you could have prostate cancer treatment that you never really needed. And mark you, the cancer treatment may cause serious harm such as erectile dysfunction, urina, urinary incontinence, and problem controlling your bowels, okay? So to decide whether the PSA test screening for prostate cancer is right for you, you have to talk to your doctor. Uh, if you have a risk of for developing a serious type of prostate cancer, that is, if your risk is higher, the possible benefit of finding cancer earlier may overweigh the possible harms. Your general health, are you well enough to have treatment for prostate cancer if it is found? And again, your preference, how do you feel about the possible benefit of harm of a screening diagnosis and treatment. So the P PSA testing may also be used to help diagnose the cause of prostate condition that aren't cancer and monitor treatment for prostate conditions including cancer. There are some uh, factors that will really indicate you in you need the PSA test which are age, the risk of prostate cancer increases after age of 50 your family health history if a member of your family have had prostate cancer your risk may be higher okay so another thing your race so prostate cancer is more common in african america they also have a high risk of developing pros prostate cancer at a younger age and having more serious diseases so you may also have a psa test if you have symptoms of prostate condition such as painful or frequent urination blood in your urine or semen and pelvic and or back pain so you might be having back pain or uh, pelvic pain so that is one of the indication that you really in need uh, to have this tested okay i think that is it for today thank you so much for listening to me and uh for men who are there and uh, you think that indeed you really need to have this test don't be worried just go talk to your doctor and uh ask and when you feel more comfortable to take the test feel free and i know you'll really appreciate the results after that because you'll be able to plan accordingly uh depending with the results that you will receive okay so don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you may re get to be notified when i upload more videos because woo woo nime kuja na ubaya okay so you have been spending time with cecil carson and bye i'm out All right.